everybody, welcome back to my channel and today is my Friday whoop whoops and I actually have a womp this week but I'm sure some of you probably already know if you've been keeping up with my videos. First thing I want to talk about is some miscellaneous things because I know I always start off with beauty but I have to tell you about some things that I've been absolutely addicted to, like addicted. I'm sure some of you or a lot of you have heard of this app called The Hunt. You have to check it out if you've not. I have to show you, it's on my phone, it's right here. It's this little icon right there. Let's focus, let's focus right there. It is the funnest app you have ever been on. You can just link it to your Facebook or whatever, but it's basically an app that you use when you wanna, say like you go on Pinterest and like there's all these cute like outfits that you find or even on Instagram or anything like that. You can go ahead and shoot a picture, snap, screenshot a picture of it or anything, and you post it on the hunt. And it's called um, To Start a Hunt. And it basically will have you put a post and whoever knows where you can actually get that or actually acquire that piece of item that you want, like that jewelry, that lipstick color, anything like that, someone will go ahead and try to find it for you. Or if you were trying to find something, maybe someone already posted it and then people found it for you and you can just purchase it right then and there. So addicting. I was laughing because Say like this one, like this pineapple bikini right here. Say like someone really wanted that. They went ahead and just took a, like a snapshot of it and then people will go ahead and tell you. See, so it says go go find it or follow. You can follow it to say that, see if someone actually finds it. So then you can follow it so you can keep up. Oh my gosh, I was laughing because on one of them, someone was trying, oh here's one. See, someone was trying to find a guy. It was so funny, like someone's trying to find who this guy is. I thought it was hilarious. There was one where the guy was really good looking and I was like, I wanna follow that hunt. I wanna know who he is. But really, this app is actually super addicting. I highly recommend it. it it's very addicting. You can be on it for hours, but I like it because it's really, really easy because you just go ahead and, and it helps others out. So you can go ahead and search things and all that. So I'm gonna link it down below. You will love this and it's free. Who doesn't like free? Free. Something else that I've absolutely loved, and I know a lot of you will actually take advantage of this, is a site, and it's called Guilt City. I'm gonna link them down below. They have a promo code going on right now. It's basically a site where it has all different types of things. Like for me, I will go under Los Angeles because I'm in LA, and it'll give you uh, different things. Like you can pick, it'll say like tone, relax, or eat, something like that, but it's a site where you go ahead and you click on where, where you're at, and mine is Los Angeles, and it lists all these cool things, like all these so say like there's one right now up for Katsuya, there's one at LA Live, and it'll give you a discount. So it's basically like each person gets an appetizer, each person gets an entree, you share a dessert, each person gets a, a, a cocktail or elixir, and it's a whole deal in one. I believe it was like $58 for lunch. And so you can get that, and the value for that was over, I don't know, it was more expensive, obviously. So it's a site where you can go ahead and purchase basically like a coupon and it gives you some money off so that you can go ahead and redeem that when you go. But there's a lot of under, other things on there. There's a thing called um, that I've been dying to try called Shape House that's really popular in Santa Monica and LA. And it's a thing where it's been on the Kardashians. It sounds crazy, but I'm really more into like this health kick. I'm trying to get healthy and a lot of you know that and trying to lose weight and all that stuff and just be super active and just push myself and not just keep myself in a plateau. But they have this um, other coupon on LA for the Shape House. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but it's basically where you sit down for 55 minutes and you're wrapped in like this type of blanket. It's been on like the Kardashians and uh, Vanderpump rules and stuff and you sweat. You sweat out all your toxins and everything like that. Helps you lose your water weight. You have like a TV or you can listen to uh, your iPod or anything. You can watch Netflix, HBO. They have like everything there. And then you go in like a, a regular relaxation room and then they give you um, water, alkaline water and oranges. And they check on you like within like the 55 minute slot so don't think like you're just left there like a cocoon never to be checked on. And then they have a thing under national. So this isn't, they have categories for other cities and places like that. But the thing is, is that they also have a national one, which is like obviously national. And there's one, what was it called? It's called Green Light Meals, and it's a, it's a, a coupon where you can go ahead and try out um, basically pre-prepared meals because I'm always on the go and I don't have time to really meal prep and stuff like that, but it's basically a food delivery service. So if you go underneath National, they have a deal like that and that's for all over, and they go ahead and they ship meals out to you. There's three different categories. You can pick one for meals for seven days, you can pick one for one uh, a large family meal for seven days, or you can get uh, seven meals 
meals. I've been like reading it because I really want to get that. Uh, seven meals, seven media meals for seven days. And they all have different prices and it's such big discounts. Like, it's incredible. Like, for that, uh, like, you have to check out Guild City. It's an awesome website. So many different deals. And it's local deals and high end and all of that. So you get to go to places um, or discover new places, like, say, like in your city. Like, there's a place called Jar that's underneath Los Angeles. I've never heard of it. But it looks really nice uh, obviously it's like more high scale and so I can go ahead and try it without having to pay full price and I get a discount on that so if I already prepay like the two like meals or the deal the meal set which I would already buy at the restaurant itself probably since I would want to try everything then I can get a discount on that so I can try it I will definitely link Guilt City down below. Now make sure you take advantage because there's a coupon code SUMMER20 and you get 20% off. So you definitely, I recommend Guilt City like completely. It's so fun. That one's addicting too and every single day. So don't think like it's only for the week. Every single day there's different, um, different campaigns that you can choose from. So different deals every single day. So go check them out. Okay, so now on to another thing that's kind of miscellaneous but not. And now we're getting more into beauty is Hairfinity. I have a video coming up on this. I just want to forewarn you that I am in love with this stuff it has helped my hair my hair is growing and that's all I'm gonna say but that's one of my favorites because the video should be up now or it's going to be posted I just want to warn you but I absolutely love Hairfinity it is awesome I have been sticking to it for now almost two months and I absolutely love it next beauty item that I'm loving and I'm wearing it but you can't tell is because it's the Smashbox 24 hour I'm like 24 hour photo finish shadow primer I absolutely love this primer when you put it on a little goes a long way it is a very thick consistency I will say that right now now when you put it on the directions say to wait for 60 seconds so I didn't do that the first time I was so eager and I was like ooh this is like too tacky and my brush hairs kind of got stuck with it but this is what it looks like just looks like a cream you go ahead and blend it in it goes you know on transparent but let it dry and let it sit and then it will become like the perfect amount of tackiness not too tacky and my shadows have been lasting like this this is this is not going anywhere nowhere I've never tried a Smashbox primer before and that one is absolutely excellent. I think the longevity of my shadows and everything has been just great. I've been using that for like about two weeks now and I absolutely love it. Now what is on my face, I have a review coming up on it super soon. Yeah, it's not up, I know that because it's just sitting in my computer all cute. But it is a review on the new Dream Pure BB 8-in-1 uh, Beauty Balm from Maybelline. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm not going to go too into depth, but I'm going to have a first impression on this. I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love it. What I will say is that if you are a fan of BB creams or anything really light for a more natural look, I highly recommend this. This gives you just that right amount of coverage. The one BB cream that I do use all the time that I recommend to everybody, and I had it my last Friday whoop whoops, is this BB cream from Garnier. This is the one for oily skin this one has like such freaking great coverage but the thing is is that since the coverage is so great some people might not like that and they want a more natural feel but still so a, you know a little bit of coverage this would be your best buddy right here I think this is excellent like I said I'm wearing it right now I do have powder on over it but I absolutely love this stuff it's really nice and light and super affordable Next thing, okay, my lips have been just a wreck and they've been super dry. So what actually just caved in and I ended up getting the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I believe this is $26. When I picked it up, I was like, I can't believe I'm getting a lip mask for $26. What am I doing? It goes on clear. I better have a nice, supple, best, plump, soft, kissable lips. All of those at once. I absolutely love this. I put this on at nighttime, and I know a lot of people said they only use it at nighttime. But what I'll do is now before I'm doing all my makeup, you'll probably see in like a future tutorial, my lips will all already look shiny, or I'll show that like in my tutorial. And I wear this the whole time I do my makeup, and then I'll kind of like wipe a little off because this is super super thick. Goes on clear. It's just a regular. It looks like a regular petroleum. But I will say, Miss, me and Miss Lola Lynn were talking about it, and she, I was like, you know what, it's just weird. To me, it smells like stale vanilla, and she's like, yeah, and tires. And I'm like, perfect. That is the perfect combo. It is tires and stale vanilla. Uh, unfortunately, it's not like the best tasting or smelling, but this thing did miracles because my lips just peel, 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 peel. So if you're not worried about that, go in the store and go smell it because I don't want you to like get it and like 
freak out about the smell saying what the heck but this one is excellent and it's been doing wonders for my lips next thing is what's on my eyes and this is the Lorac Pro I'm sure like everybody and their mother's cousins grandmas and everybody else and the uncles have been showing this in their wiki in their wiki 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 in their weekly favorites I absolutely love this eye palette everybody's been asking me which one I like better one or two and it's so crazy because I I I, okay, I would say go for with number one because I feel like those colors are just so standard. But this palette is just as good as number one. Usually when they come out with other palettes, you're like, eh, it's not as good as number one or eh, it was okay. No, this one is excellent. I have it on my eyes today. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this kind of soft, smoky look. I'm only using matte shades. I will not be using any shimmer shades. I wanted to do that. So I can't wait to do this tutorial because this has been kind of like my go-to look. So that was my, oh, wait, I have a Womp. And my Womp is my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. A lot of people were saying, if you watch my review, then you probably already know this. A lot of people were saying, no, the one with your uh, with the brush looks much better than the one with the Beauty Blender. And in, in person, I'm telling you, the Beauty Blender side looked better. I, there was like more light on this side. That's why, because I have a window on this side. That's why it looks so great. But it was not. It got way too oily on me, and I just was not a fan. I, you saw me. I was a grease ball, so I just returned it, and I never return anything and that says a lot it just didn't work for my skin I know so many people were saying no get it back get a deeper color I just don't care for it It made me way too greasy I don't recommend that for oily skin people whatsoever I want to love it but I just can't I love luminosity but like I said there's a big fine line between a luminosity and grease ball and I'm not trying to be a grease ball. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Friday whoops and my unfortunate womp. But it's okay because I got more goodies when I got the return. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Whoop, whoop.